Widener University, a school of 3,400 undergraduate students located in the heart of Delaware County, Pennsylvania, Widener has enjoyed a long and storied athletic tradition. From the days of its first teams with baseball in 1866 and football in 1879 when the school was the Pennsylvania Military Academy, Widener has won national championships in multiple sports, had more than 100 All-Americans and upwards of 50 academic All-Americans. In 2018, a new group of student athletes looks to make their own history as volleyball becomes the first men's varsity sport to be added in 50 years. When I got here, there wasn't anything, so Josh and I started the uh, club team here, and then eventually, um, we, like after two years of playing, we saw that we could, you know, we could make it more competitive, a better sport, more known to the campus. So we wanted to be able to play at a D3 level, like when we were working for the girls' volleyball team, we saw how competitive it was. So we wanted to rise the uh, competition pretty much. something special you got to lay the groundwork down uh, you got to know that you know come 15 20 years you're gonna have kids your age maybe even younger looking back at you and saying all right you know they laid the precedent and now you know we need to carry that on so setting the bar high for all the kids to come after you to know that you know there's a little certain level of expectancy that uh that's been carried out before well you know, as a Widener alum it's always a privilege to you know work for your alma mater and you know, as a women's coach, you know, that was that was a great, great honor for me. But now with this inaugural season for our men's program, you know, it's even a more, uh, it's, it's more of a privilege because we're just starting this program and to see it from the ground up, you know, it's, gonna, it's, it's a tremendous, it's going to be a tremendous journey for me to kind of watch these guys grow, watch this program grow as we move forward. So you guys are laying the foundation for this program and you know, the hope says that whatever precedent you set starting today is the legacy that you're going to leave behind as we move forward. Every time you step in a gym, okay, your goal is to get better. Okay, we have approximately little under two weeks before our first official uh, match. One of the things I want to make evidently clear we're going to work hard. We're never going to lose a match or a set because of lack of effort. We might get beat because the other team is better than us, but not because we didn't put forth effort. So every time you guys step in the gym, on the court, whatever, we're working hard. I just want to be well prepared. I just want to calm my nerves in order to play at my best to the best of my ability and also I just want to have um, a great experience overall not just for this game but for the rest of the season as well. It's, uh, it's been a culmination of a lot of hard work, um, gelling as a team, making sure that people are comfortable in new spots and uh, a, lot of, a lot of game action, putting ourselves into situations that might be tough in a game but since we've seen them before we can apply it uh, to the real gameplay.
have went better as a home team, but individually, I had a, I had pretty much fun as the rest of the guys did. So I think all we need to do is just keep our heads up and just play it as a sport, not as a job. To be a student athlete in the NCAA, it's a bit, it's a very heartwarming experience, especially for me because I always wanted to play in college, and I take my studies very seriously. So I think this will help me keep balance with physical activity and my education.